Good morning to members of the media and welcome to the Trinidad Tobago Police Service weekly media briefing for Thursday, 5th March 2020. I'm Superintendent Wayne Meister, Public Information Officer of the TTPS. And we also want to welcome our viewers on live on Facebook. Today, uh, our topic will be um, based on the Gender Based Violence Unit. And I have with me here on the media briefing Inspector Lystra Bridgelal. Um, she is one of the the directors at the Gender Based Violence Unit. Also, Ms. Samantha Griffith, who is also the project planning coordinator of the Gender Based Violence Unit. So, we'll go straight into it and I'll hand you over to Inspector Bridgelal. Good morning, all. The Gender Based Violence Unit, GBVU, of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, TTPS, wishes to state its concern with regard to the continued violent attacks being perpetrated upon women in Trinidad and Tobago. With nine women killed through domestic violence and five violent assaults for the year so far, and with the commemoration of international observances taking place across the country for International Women's Day 2020, on Sunday the 8th of March 2020, the GBVU is once again pledging to continue to do its part to protect the nation's victims of domestic violence. To help us achieve this goal, however, we call upon all citizens, communities, and stakeholders to also do their part in ensuring that domestic violence is identified and curbed at all costs. We need guardians in our society to assist. Citizens, you are the authorities in your families to monitor and control your sphere of operation. We also need media support to accurately and respectfully disseminate information in a manner that avoids victim shaming and blaming by sensationalizing. In partnership with our communities and stakeholders, we can make Trinidad and Tobago safe for our victims of domestic violence. The establishment of the GBVU in January 2020 is a clear resolve of Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith and the executive of the TTPS. As we continue with initiatives in the fight against crime, it is important that we should focus on the safety, care, and protection of our nation's people. In making every place safe and having a caring approach to the sensitivity of crime, it is our duty to act with professionalism, tact, and good judgment in how we respond to criminal issues affecting victims of domestic violence. As such, the citizenry of Trinidad and Tobago is encouraged to utilize the following numbers, 999 and 555, and the TTPS app to report domestic violence crimes to keep victims safe. Since the launch of the GBVU by Commissioner Griffith on January the 1st, the unit, headed by Assistant Superintendent of Police Claire Guy Allen, is staffed by 50 police officers distributed throughout our nine policing divisions. There is currently one civilian manager, Ms. Shireen Pollard, and one coordinator with additional civilian posts to be filled. The role of the police officers within the unit is to investigate all complaints that are determined to be rooted in gender inequality, paying particular attention to domestic violence complaints. Given the recent trend of domestic violence related serious crimes and murders, we plan to prosecute this crime, which, based on current statistics, are mainly towards women and children, to the fullest extent of the law. The officers, coupled with the civilian staff assigned to the GBVU, will work in tandem by adopting a stringent case management model which would include follow-up in the community with survivors and perpetrators. Continuous follow-up action is conducted by officers of the GBVU to ensure the welfare, protection, and safety 
of the applicant. This is to guarantee that the conditions of the order are adhered to by the respondent. We are paying special attention to the role of protection orders in combating and protecting domestic violence survivors. The enforcement of the breach of orders will occur. Another step being taken is where a domestic violence order is made ex parte. The police officer serving this order would read and explain the order to the respondent, ensuring that it is clear and comprehensive. Accomplishments. The officers within the unit have executed numerous arrests and charges based on the complaints received, and we will continue to do so. There is a lot of policy development work being done in collaboration with our external stakeholders in combating gender-based violence crime in the nation. We are working with the Office of the Prime Minister, the Assistant Superintendent of Police, and the Manager of the Unit, who currently sit on the Interministerial Committee to coordinate strategies to reduce domestic violence. The Judiciary of Trinidad and Tobago, in creating an MOU for the sharing of protection orders between our agencies. And we have recently received the proposed amendment to the Domestic Violence Act from the Attorney General's office and will provide input based on the TTPS's rule within the legislation. The unit has commenced sensitization and outreach programs relative to domestic violence and breaches of protection orders in partnership with government ministries, civil society groups, and non-governmental organizations. We have sat on several panel discussions. In recognition of International Women's Day, we will be partnering with several community and governmental organizations in raising our awareness and to discuss how we will continue to tackle gender-based violence within Trinidad and Tobago. We are excited to be a change agent for such a big social issue. Victims are often not aware of the services that are available to them. As a consequence, domestic violence victims and in some instances offenders are referred to the TTPS Victim and Witness Support Unit for psychosocial interventions. They are also referred to the Community Policing Unit. GBVU officers play an important role in keeping victims informed of the services which exist within the community and how they may be accessed. This information includes and is not limited to social services agencies such as shelters, legal aid, counseling, referrals, and assistance in legal matters and childcare. The officers attached to the GBVU also advise the parties about other services which are available to them as an intervention strategy. Police officers, if requested by the victim, would proceed to the residence of the victim to ensure peaceful entry when the victim or the perpetrator returns to take possession of personal belongings and when concerns of the safety of these victims exist because of the presence of the perpetrator at the residence. If there is contention as to a property being removed, the police officer will advise parties to seek legal advice. Police officers also make arrangements to transport the victim to a place of safety or shelter within the location remaining unknown to the perpetrator and also third parties. Victims are also warned to keep this location private. As we execute plans and observe International Women's Day 2020, let us all be united in our effort, relentless in our pursuit, and selfless in our purpose. May God bless us as we work in partnership with our citizens, NGOs, and FBOs for a gender-based violence-free Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Okay, I will now ask Samantha Griffith.
to address us. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the manager of the Gender-Based Violence Unit, my role this morning is to highlight the training initiatives which the units will be embarking upon in the upcoming months. The Gender-Based Violence Unit is a specialized unit within the trans Tobago Police Service. And we recognize that our ability to meet the needs of citizens with the required levels of efficiency, professionalism, and empathy will rely heavily on the specialized development of our police officers. Training and retraining are fundamental tools for building capacity of any service provider. And with that said, I would like to list some of the training areas. Please note, this is not an extensive training list. We'll be looking at framework for addressing gender-based violence-related emergencies. Understanding laws to promote implementation. Trauma sensitivity training. Vicarious trauma training for our police officers. Psychological first aid training and treating with the male gender-based violence victim and their experiences. Collaboration is also a key driver to ensure this training. And we will continue to partner with our valuable regional, local, and international stakeholders, such as the Office of the Prime Minister, embassies, high commissions, NYPD, UN Women, and other agencies to develop and execute these trainings. Police officers attached to this unit have been previously trained in international best practice approaches in investigative procedure, dynamics of domestic violence, law and police powers, and other related gender-based violence areas. These upcoming retraining initiatives will rebound not only on the benefits of the police officers, but the communities that they serve. As we will be better equipped to inform potential victims and victims thus contributing to their empowerment. We know that education and knowledge is power. We are hoping, and not only hoping, we know that the sharing of information, persons can make better informed choices, especially in high-risk situations, and know that they can turn to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. I want to end by reminding persons of the call, if you see something, say something. Making one phone call can save someone's life. Please engage 999 and the TTPS app. The dedicated police officers led by Commissioner of Police, Mr. Gary Griffith, are here to protect and serve all the citizens of this nation. And with your support, the citizens, we can make Trinidad and Tobago a safer place. We know that gender-based violence right now is affecting the very fabric of our society, and we want to turn that tide. I thank you.